Expense slips record charges that are associated with reimbursables and costs that you've accrued on behalf of the client. This training video will show you the basics of creating a new expense slip. From the navigator, switch to the Time and Expense view and click Enter an Expense Slip. You can set up slip preferences that can copy names from the previous slip. In this example, we have not set up those preferences. The timekeeper identifies the employee who incurred the cost on this slip. The expense identifies the item purchased for the client. In this example, we will create an expense slip for a shipment sent to the client. You can set up defaults for the expense that will automatically copy values to some of the slip fields. In this example, the description, quantity, and price are filled in for you after choosing the expense. The client identifies the person or company being billed for these charges. In this example, we will select Client Harper. References can help you group charges on bills and reports. Slips for Hopper default to Palmer v. Hopper. In this example, we will use Spring v. Hopper. You can use the extra field to track additional slip data. We will not use this field in this example. The slip description provides details about this charge. You can include this text on bills and reports. In this example, we will use the default description. You can use the buttons to the left to format the description text, add private text, or expand the description field. Many other helpful commands are available on the right-click menu. The start date and end date indicate the date range of the slip. The quantity determines the number of units for the expense. The price indicates the price per unit. For this example, we will not change the default values. The billing status indicates if you will charge your client for the cost on the slip. Slips marked billable can appear on the client's bill. Slips marked do not bill will not appear on bills. This is useful when you want to track costs but will not bill for them. Slips marked no charge will appear on bills but will not affect the total. Slips marked override can appear on clients' bills. They will be charged outside of any bill arrangement set up for the client. If needed, you can hold the slip for a future billing. You can also set the charge to recur on each bill for the client. You can use slip markups to adjust the slip by a specific percent. In this example, we will mark up the shipment by 20%. You can also use slip adjustments to adjust the slip value by a specific dollar amount. If you have a receipt to include with the expense, you can locate the image on your computer, or you can scan the receipt. If you do not usually change billing options, adjust slip fields, or use attachments, you can hide these sections. You can click on the slip value to see how adjustments and markups will affect the bill. This will show you each slip's profitability. When you are finished entering slip fields, click Save to save the slip.